Hi, I'm Dave Griggs, and this is a yo-yo. Now, the yo-yo's been around for a long time, at least several hundred years, and it demonstrates two physical properties that are very unique. Both of them have to do with motion. The first is rotational motion, and that is that the yo-yo actually rotates about a spin axis, which is the axle of the yo-yo, and it also translates. And the translation is that it goes straight down or straight out if I happen to throw it straight out or straight up if I happen to throw it straight up. Now the yo-yo depends to some degree upon rotation to keep it steady in space. That is, if I just drop it very slowly, it'll have a tendency to turn on its string. However, If I throw it down very rapidly, it'll go down very straight, as an example like that. Now what you just saw a minute ago was a sleeping yo-yo, which is unique in that you can make the mass of the yo-yo actually stay at the bottom of the string. Now this trick couldn't be done in space, and I'll tell you why in just a moment, but let's look at that one more time. You see, the mass stays at the end of the string, and when I give it a little jerk, it comes back up into the hand again. Now in space, because every time I would throw the mass of the yo-yo out, it would tend to, once it got to the end of the string, it would stretch the string ever so slightly and rebound, and in that rebound process, the string would get loose on the axle, and then by friction would wind itself back up again. Now you'll see here on the Earth's surface, when I throw it down, not quite like that, The way I get it up is I actually loosen the string a little bit on the axle and get it to come back up in the hand again. Okay, one of the unique things about space, of course, is that there isn't any gravity there. And that enables you to use the yo-yo much slower than you can on the Earth's surface. Now, I don't know on the Earth's surface, of course, you have to throw the yo-yo fast enough that when it gets to the end of the string, it has enough rebound motion that it can work itself back up, lift its own weight back up the string, lift its own weight against gravity back up, its, back up the string. Now in space, without gravity, you can actually throw the yo-yo extremely slowly and it performs all the rotational and translational motions that you anticipate or expect it to do. And you'll see in some of the space footage that I'm actually throwing the yo-yo out away from me at a very, very slow velocity. And without gravity, of course, it doesn't sink down. It merely goes straight out and it comes straight back. Now I'll demonstrate that here on the Earth's surface. You'll see that if I throw it out very slowly, the yo-yo will drop down and won't have enough momentum to actually climb back up the string, as an example. As an example, you'll see that it has a tendency to fall back down. But if you throw it out very fast, you can get it to come straight back to your hand. Of course, in space, uh, as I mentioned a moment ago, you can do the tricks extremely slowly. And what this enables you to do is to actually see, observe the dynamics of the mass of the O and the string, observe the interaction of those two objects, the, the string and the mass of the yo, and actually make corrections for any slight errors that you may have initiated into the trick. Now, on the Earth's surface, unfortunately, you can't do that because, once again, you have to do the tricks very fast in order to maintain control of the mass. One of the tricks I did in space is, is called the flying saucer. Now, the flying saucer is merely where you take the yo-yo and instead of having it unspin in a plane such as this, you have it unspin in the horizontal plane going straight out away from the body like so. Now that's a difficult trick to do on the, on the Earth's surface because of the gravitational field having a tendency once again to pull the yo-yo down and when the yo-yo starts to get pulled down, the string has a tendency to come out of its track 
causing the yo-yo to become unstable. But without gravity, of course, you can throw the yo-yo out very, very slowly, and it'll stay absolutely parallel with the string as it goes out, reach the end of the string, and come very neatly right back up into your hand. Now let me try it here on their surface, and I'll show you the problems. What happens if you don't do it slow, or if you don't do it fast enough, excuse me. You see, it falls down, the string becomes entangled in the track, and the yo-yo becomes unstable. Now, if you do it fast enough, you can actually get the yo-yo to go out and come straight back in your hand, once again in the horizontal plane, like so. There was a couple other tricks that I did. One of them uh, was a what we call a shooting star. And uh, generally on Earth's surface, the shooting star is done in, in the vertical plane where we we release the yo-yo as it's going up. We release it, the string from your finger and the yo-yo then just climbs up depending on how hard you threw it. And the string continues to wind around the axle so that the time it reaches the apex of its travel, the yo-yo and the string are all wound up and it drops back down in your hand. Now in space, since the confinement of the mid-deck prevented us from throwing the yo-yo straight up, I did it in the horizontal plane. Once again, no gravity to pull the yo-yo down. I did it in the horizontal plane across the length of the mid-deck, which is about eight feet long. And you'll observe that during that motion of the yo-yo going across the mid-deck, that it did not sink at all because of the lack of gravity. And that was the shooting star, which is a interesting trick and a fun one to do. Shooting the moon is a very interesting trick. It's an extremely difficult advanced trick to for perform on the Earth's surface. Once again, because gravity has a tendency to work against the person that's playing with the yo-yo. Now the trick consists of throwing the yo-yo -yo out away from the body, bringing it back, and as he comes back, you flip it up around the wrist, straight up, and back down into the palm again. Obviously, gravity is working against you while you're playing this trick. But in space, without gravity, it is extremely easy to perform the trick. You can do it relatively slow and observe the actual dynamics between the yo-yo and the mass and your hand and make the corrections that are required in order to affect the trick properly. Okay, let's try the trick here on the Earth's surface. And you'll probably see that I may have some difficulty with it and I may not even be able to do it. Here we go close to it, but you observe in the space film how easy it was to do. Okay kids, that pretty well does it for the yo-yo. We certainly had fun with it in space and I know you have lots of fun with it here on the Earth's surface. Happy yo-ing to you.